guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video it's 2021 happy belated new year to y'all i don't know if i can say that right now after all the events that's happened recently into the new year so happy new year anyway okay yes this is the first video that i'm doing in 2021 i was supposed to upload um, last weekend but i was just having too much fun with my family i'm trusting that we're all well i'm so grateful to have so many new subscribers thank you so much for joining at mel's world i really appreciate you and of course my online friends you guys are amazing i say it every week every week you guys are amazing i love our conversation i love it when you slide in my dms on instagram if you are not on there follow me you need to okay okay so you are probably wondering when is she going to move on to the video topic so this week's video is about a question that i get asked all the time for those that don't know i'm 49 years old okay i have to my knowledge three gray hairs one tiny little one here on the hairline just here and it has not grown it's been like a centimeter or almost a centimeter for so long it has not grown longer than that and then i've got another gray sister here and it's probably shoulder length and i have one other one i found and i noticed this gray streak but yeah it was a long one so that one's been growing for quite some time she saw real day i get questions like what hair dye are you using how is your hair so dark do you have gray hairs how are you covering your gray hair mm? tell me so if you want to know some tips on how i've been able to prevent the gray then you gotta stay tuned okay yeah hang on okay so first of all for those of you who are new here i always introduce the hair i'm, I'm going to do it okay you have to hold on so the burning question of how i'm able to prevent my hair from going gray well, the thing is, I, I, I hope you guys aren't going to be irritated because the, the answer to the question is, I don't know. I honestly do not know. I don't know, Charlie, I don't know. Instead of this being an incredibly and disappointing video, I thought what I would do is I'm going to just talk you through some of the ingredients that I use on a regular basis because that might just be the reason what is doing it. So before I show you my hair, there are a few things I need to talk to you about. You know, you know me, I'm going to story you. I've got to tell you the whole thing. And give you information hmm. but some of the points i'm going to be giving you is going <clears> to <throat> you know it's going to contradict it because the number one causing of graying is hereditary <laughs> you know if your mum and dad have got it hmm, girl you are going to get it see permanent graying is related to genetics which means you may have gray hair at an early age and they do say if your father or grandfather had premature in grain at an early age it's quite possible that you would who? If I look at my history, I can give you the reasons why I'm probably not going grey. My father did not have grey hair. Well, maybe one or two. He had jet black, fine, curly hair. Now, your diet is another thing. An imbalanced diet can speed up the grain of your hair. Hmm, did you know that, eh? Processed foods, cold drinks, excessive intake of salt and sugar can generate a hormonal and physiological disbalance that weakens the hair and can also speed up grain of your hair. Another cause of grain hair is a deficiency in vitamins. Now, a lack of certain vitamins like B, D and E and also biotin can also bring on premature grain. And did you know that the weather conditions also can bring on some kind of causes with the free radicals and air pollution to the melanin of your hair color? Mm -mm. You didn't know that, did you? Now there is another obvious one that can cause premature grain and that's what we do when we want to bleach it and mess up the melanin of the hair. Mm. And using products that contain hydrogen peroxide and other bleaching agents can also contribute in affecting the melanin of our hair strand. And just another thing, okay, it's just a little side note, but it's very important, stress. Stress can be another cause for premature graying. It's proven many times that stress can take its toll on your body. There are cases where people have actually gone gray overnight due to some kind of traumatic incident that's happened in their life and they're rare cases but it's linked to stress but having said that there are a number of things that we can do to stop the grain i want you to see my hair now because hey chalet okay so my hair oh, uh we're gonna search for the gray oh, okay we are going to see now the hair you are introduced to the hair now don't mind you please my hair needs to be washed okay it's it's coming to wash day that's why the hair is just, you know, looking scraggy daggy. All right. Can you see? We are looking for the grey. We're looking here for the grey even. 
Even up there, where is it? I don't know where it is. And to way. Anyway, that, that's gonna take me a little while. Sometimes I think that this, oh, hello, oh, 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 what's that? What's that, what's that? Is that, is that, is that the gray hair? She gone. No, no, she gone. Let's see, is that, it's just the light because it's so shiny in my hair. <laughs> there are a few things that I've been doing along with the fact that it's hereditary. <laughs> I'm not really taking vitamins B, D and E or biotin, so that one's out of the list, okay? Um, my diet, I don't really have a diet that's clean. I like manku, hmm. I like fufu, hmm. I like plantain, hmm. I like okra stew, you know, mm -hmm. Jello fries here and there. I like light soup, like lasagna and spaghetti. I like roast dinners and I, I like all foods. I love a curry. Now, I my diet is not restricted. I, I like all these types of foods, okay? I'm not really specific. I don't have a plant-based diet, although I'll mix it in every now and again. But what I'm gonna do right now, because I think I've talked too much about that, let me show you exactly what I do week in, week out, the kind of ingredients I'm using. I may have to show them here because uh, Chale, I, I don't have it here with me, okay? And of course, I'll list everything as much as I can uh, in the description bar below for you, okay? Other than the fact that I believe it's hereditary, I'm also continuing to have a consistent hair routine, which includes Ayurvedic practices. And some of them are also great for preventing hair going. Right. <laughs> so, for one of the first things I usually do is I always do a tea rinse. Now, the tea rinse I'm I favour, I really love to use is the rinse me, which is this one here, or the thirsty hair. Now, the thirsty hair has green tea, henna powder, amla powder, shikai kai, and horsetail. All of the ingredients in here are really great for not only blocking DHT, but they're so good for preventing hair going gray because they really feed the pigmentation of your hair shaft. So that's one of the things I'm doing. Okay, so another thing that I've been doing that I feel that is just amazing is I've been using, this isn't the actual one, this is because this is it's my home one, okay? I don't, I, I own the company so I, I can do what I want. But if you want to see what it looks like online, this is the Amarami Growth Oil and let me tell you, this is spectacular. Growth oils are great when they're specific for growing your hair. This one, amongst so many other ones that are on the market, this one does that and it has a lot of ingredients in there that actually are fantastic for helping the hair to grow, nourishing the hair and preventing the hair from going great. You're not obliged to try any of my products. I'm just listing and telling you what I'm doing, okay? Anyway, I'm just saying. That's all, I'm just saying. Another product that I use is my Mel's Butter Me Up. I kind of like use this more or less every day. I, I think I use it every day and night probably to grease my scalp, to just oil my ends, just keep them nice and oiled because once it comes into contact with your hands, it becomes a really lovely oil. So I use it to seal everywhere. So if I'm doing a hairstyle, anything I'm doing, I will use the Mel's Butter Me Up to seal all of that goodness in, all right? Okay, so you're probably wondering what I do in terms of washing my hair and do I use any henna treatments or anything like that? Now, although I don't have, I don't specifically have anything that will prevent it from going, my hair growing gray, this is the shampoo I've been using. I don't know, maybe that's doing it as well. The other thing I've been using is this silk conditioner. Don't have it with me. Uh, silk conditioner, it has got a ton of rosemary oil in it. Now beyond stimulating the blood flow to the scalp, rosemary essential oils is also used to prevent graying and, and also for dandruff, but it's so good for preventing hair loss. Now, if you didn't know, rosemary helps to darken the hair. Now, let me just clarify this. This is oh, an excessive amount of use over a long period of time has proven that it actually does darken hair. That's preventing the gray hair showing his face. And a fun fact, sage essential oil is also amazing for preventing gray hair. So if you don't have rosemary, then as an alternative, you could use sage as well. Right, and lastly, but not least, because this isn't the only thing I use to style my hair with, but the leave-in conditioner, the Amari Me leave-in conditioner is fantastic for helping 
me prevent grain because it has aloe vera in it. Now this is another fun fact about aloe vera. If you didn't know, it is amazing in conjunction when used with henna or coffee, aloe vera can come alive and prevent hair going gray. <laughs> You didn't know that, did you, sister? Now, when you apply aloe vera consistently, you will see a difference in the color of your hair because aloe vera is really great at conditioning your hair and it's amazing for giving your hair moisture and shine. So these are the things that I've been doing. Because every now and again, I might use another product like a Sheer Moisture or maybe a My Organics. That doesn't have anything in there that's, you know, has any gray blocker. <laughs> I mix it up a little bit, but I stick to the same basic products that I know that have got Ayurvedic powders in it. They've got properties that will not only nourish the hair, but it also will help me uh, preventing grain. Now, I don't know whether it's the Amari Me products. I have no idea. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not going to come on here and tell you some lies, okay? I literally don't know the reason why. The only conclusion is that it's hereditary. And I'm also consistently using Ayurvedic products that may be contributing to keeping the grey far, far away. Now I do know that once your hair is already grey, that, that there's, the, the hair has sprouted out of your head, you know, it is too late, okay? That that grey or white hair is here to stay. You can't change that. However, you can change what's going on inside and prevent it that way. Apart from that, I, I, I this hair is dark. I, I don't know. It's hereditary, I think. So guys, I hope that's helped some way. And even if you have grey hair, you could probably stop the, the rest of the hair, the cousins that are still yet to come, you know? <laughs> you still got time. You've still got time. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing to prevent any more grain in your life. Share it with us all, we need to know. Thank you so much for those of you who've been investing in my company, I am so, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you guys. And I will see you again in my next video, which hopefully, if I can get the editing done, it will be soon. Okay? See you later, darling. Take care and God bless you. Bye.